welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the I Am a Guilty Reader book tag. I just saw Katrina from Little Book Owl do this tag and I absolutely loved it. I wasn't tagged by anyone but I just thought it was such a fun tag. This was originally created by Read Like Wildfire and I will go ahead and post the link to the original video and the creator's channel down below so definitely go check it out. There are 10 questions and let's just jump right in. Have you ever re-gifted a book that you've been given? This one, I want to say no, I haven't. Oh, well, so I've never, I haven't re-gifted it, but my husband did buy me a book a couple of years ago and I it wasn't really something that I was interested in and I didn't feel as bad because you know he's my husband so I can be honest with him and not really feel that bad but I basically we returned it and I got something else instead so I know that doesn't really answer the question no I've never really re-gifted a book but I did send one back that's been gifted to me and got something else that I preferred instead. Have you ever said you've read a book when you haven't? Yes, I have and those were always books for school. So if there was a book in school that the topic was a little too sensitive for me, then I would just try and like skim read or read the synopsis online and then pretty much say I read it in but I didn't. Uh, I probably shouldn't be admitting this, but I mean, no one knows which class, which book, so I think it's all good. Have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? So unfortunately, yes, and I feel so bad that I never gave it back, but it has been, I think, 12 years. I don't even know where this person lives anymore. The book, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, my friend lent it to me back in high school when it first came out, which was 2008, I'm sorry, nine years ago. And I read it and I loved it and I just, I, I never returned it. I don't think it was on purpose. I don't think I was like, haha, I'm gonna keep it. Um, and of course, if she had asked for it back, I would have definitely given it back to her. But it's been like almost 10 years now. It's a little beat up. So honestly, if she like texted me right now and was like, hey, I want my copy of the hose, I'd have to like buy her her own new copy because I, this one's, this one's been read m numerous times. Oh, and another one. For some reason, I lost my copy of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and this is not my copy. Um, this is actually my sister's friend's copy. I don't know why I have it. I've had it on my bookshelf for years, and I don't know why. And honestly, I thought it was mine. I thought maybe I purchased this one, or my mom like bought me another copy. But no, this is actually, um, maybe I actually ended up borrowing it. I don't know, I really don't know how I have it. And honestly, I could return it. Like I know this person, so I probably should see, see if she wants it back. But once again, it this book is like beat up. So I don't really know if she would want it back, but um, I actually, actually I saw her like a week ago. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll see if she wants her book back that I've had on my shelf for, you know, when did the fourth one come out? 2000. Have you ever read a series out of order? Yes, I have. One of my favorite books is called Chesapeake Blue by Nora Roberts. It is an adult romance series, and I actually had no idea that this was a series. I've read this book numerous, numerous times. I read it like once a year, and I think by my third time rereading it, I learned that there was, or I think, it took me a while to notice here the Chesapeake Bay saga and then I realized like oh look this is the fourth book in a series and I think I noticed that like my third time rereading it and it actually makes sense now because 
the first page is like to every reader who asks when are you going to tell Seth's story Seth is the main character in this um, in this series and it's like okay now I understand because the first three books are Seth as a child and then this is Seth as an adult have you ever spoiled a book for someone so yes sadly I have and I feel so bad about this one I spoiled my husband for the last Harry Potter book Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows so I keep forgetting that he had never read Harry Potter or he only read like half of the books in the series. <gasps> Zara! So when the last Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out in theaters, we were gonna go see it together. And I had completely forgotten, like I said, that he hadn't read the seventh book. And I was just talking about the, you know, the movie and how excited I am. And I completely spoiled the ending. I felt so bad that I ruined the ending of Harry Potter and the Death Deathly Hallows for him on our way to the movie theater. I believe that's how it went, but I, I felt really, really, really bad. But you know, that's his fault for not reading the books. Have you ever doggy eared a book? I don't dog ear books. Maybe I have with a book in school and it had to have been a book that I really didn't like. Here's a book from, here's a book from high school. Oh, uh, let's see if it's been dog-eared. Nope, this book has never been dog-eared. Have you ever told someone you don't own a book when you do? I feel bad lying. If someone asks to read one of my books, I can't say no. Have you ever told someone you haven't read a book when you have? No, not really. I'm not really ashamed of any of the books that I've read. I have no problem saying I didn't like this book. I also have no problem saying like, oh yeah, I absolutely loved this book, even if it's a really unpopular opinion. I mean, everyone has different reading tastes, so I have nothing to feel guilty about. Have you ever skipped a chapter or section in a book? Yes, I actually do this a lot. If the book is starting to like drag and get really boring then yeah I will like kind of skim read read kind of quickly and I'll just kind of skip a few sections if there's like a whole bunch of description I'm like okay well they're still you know describing so I'll kind of flip forward a little bit or if something so intense is happening and it looks like one of like my favorite characters might die I may skip ahead or like does die I may skip ahead and be like wait a second is he coming back to life are they coming back to life like it, did they really die especially in young adult a lot of like young adult fantasy um, the author likes to you know let us think that one of the main characters that you love has died when they really haven't and so I have skipped ahead on numerous occasions because I can't handle thinking that the main character or like the character I love so much <laughs> will not be at the end of the book. Have you ever badmouthed a book you actually liked? No, I've never badmouthed a book that I have actually liked but if I'm like talking with my friends or if someone like recommend like asks about for a book recommendation and they're like oh what do you think of this book and I didn't like it I have no problem saying like oh no I hated that book all right guys well that is it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it I really enjoyed filming this tag I'm going to tag some people on Twitter as always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time in another video Bye.